no lives matter until black lives matter. I can't believe what I've been witnessing or witnessed over the last two weeks and I've been constantly thinking about it, how to make a video about it, whether I should make a video about it, but of course I should, it's not enough now for me to say I've got black friends, I've had relationships with black people and I'm not a racist so this isn't about me and it's not my fight because that's wrong because it is a fight for everyone I'm not a black man but I as many others witnessed a man begging for his life pleading for his mum with a knee on his neck for almost nine minutes. He didn't warrant that, nobody does, and he was targeted because of the colour of his skin. And that is inherently wrong. And everybody who I see in recent days commenting back and putting posts saying all lives matter, I'm sorry, but you're wrong. All lives do not matter at the moment because not every life is equal. So until that happens and black lives matter, no lives matter. Because until you've been in a situation where you've been bullied, targeted, imprisoned, killed, murdered, uh, lost, jobs, laughed at, abused, made jokes of because of the colour of your skin, it doesn't come close. You haven't got a clue and you're part of a problem because you're unwilling to understand what this means and it's not just a moment, this is a movement. I have nieces and nephews and one day if I'm lucky enough to have a son or a daughter I do not want them brought up in a world where they see a person being abused in any form because of the colour of their skin. It shouldn't be a thing to be vilified for or to have to work 10 times as harder as somebody else who isn't black to get somewhere where they need to be. And also people can't say that I'm not racist because I listen to reggae or hip hop or I like chicken and rice. That inherently the last one is also a racist slur and unless you understand properly the people who make the music and where it's coming from and really understand the stories uh, it, it's nice yeah you can all like it but it doesn't make you not racist I've known people, they'll happily listen to the music, but then their views don't match up. So just because you listen to something and you enjoy 
the music for entertainment does not mean that you are not racist and we have to change it everything that we well a lot of the things that we enjoy and have um, experienced have come from black culture now I'm just a man but I've never judged anybody or seen anybody and reacted to them in a way because of the colour of their skin. We're all human. We are all human. And the first thing you see shouldn't be the colour of someone's skin and make them feel like they're less worthy because of it. It didn't feel right for me not to say anything and just carry on like normal. And I know that there's a lot of people out there, YouTubers, creators, whatever, who are white, not black, who are scared to say something and stand up for it or something because they're scared that they might say the wrong thing and defend people but I've also heard stories or people say from the black community that they feel awkward and they feel scared that they might say something wrong they have to leave their house every day and make sure that they have ID on them and just make sure that they don't look a certain way or they're scared to leave the house and they don't want to say the wrong thing just in case something like what happened to George Floyd happens to them because it's not the first time it's happened and it's been going on for not decades Centuries. Centuries. There was a documentary film on on Netflix called Uppity about a racing car driver in the 70s and up. He could have been Lewis Hamilton before Lewis Hamilton. But because of the colour of his skin, he only got so far before people wouldn't work with him or he got given a car and the people that were working with him were white and didn't want to work with him so they basically built a death trap and he had to take one of his opportunities and say I can't drive this car because it's not safe had he drove it he would have crashed and he would have died and those people did that to him on purpose because of the colour of his skin. How is that right? And also to the people who say, I'm not racist because I listen to a certain form of music or I like Bob Marley. Educate yourself and actually, I'm not saying everyone, but there's a, there's a majority of them that will just say that they listen to it and they don't know any of the story or any of the the background of the artist, the person, and the music that they're making. But at this time, we all have to educate ourselves and not just see it as a piece of entertainment. Go back, please watch his documentary and see where he's come from and what he did to make that name something special and to mean something different please now, I'm not saying everyone is bad but I'm just saying that we need to take this time to re-educate ourselves and understand Black Lives Matter they do and no life is going to matter until everyone is equal and everyone
if your mind just gets an equal shot at living a life and just being who they want to be and not being vilified 